Hello friends, welcome to Nick AI Tech Academy. In our today's session, we are going to learn about SQL transformation. So this is the agenda for today's session. First, we are going to learn about what is SQL transformation and how to use SQL statement in Informatica midstream. We will see one practical example for, for this SQL transformation. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you will be getting all the notifications. Without wasting your time, let us begin our session. SQL transformation. So what is SQL transformation? Whenever I want to execute any SQL statement in between the pipeline, okay, anywhere in the pipeline, then I can go for SQL transformation. SQL transformation, it is an active and connected. Instead of joiner or lookup, we can go for SQL transformation. So why? So if what is the use of lookup? So based on some common column, you can find a lookup value, right? So you can find a matching and then you can get it. So in lookup override, you can write. But sometime what will happen if you're writing lookup, so it will take a lot of memory. The lookup will take a lot of memory. So for that, I will use cache memory it will take. So if it is having huge memory and it is taking a lot of uh, memory size, then I will go for this SQL transformation. So anywhere in the pipeline, okay, SQL transformation is used to process SQL queries in the midstream of the pipeline, okay? So we can insert, update, delete all the DDL statement, DML statement, so anything you can execute. So dynamically, okay, if you want to create a table, this table structure, you want to create it, you can pass all this value to one particular SQL transformation. You create a table. After that, you can go to the target. You can load the data. Okay. So that also possible. So, but whatever the DDL, DML, all the operation you want to perform, you can go for SQL transformation in between. That's the main thing. Okay. Before target, if I want to execute any SQL statement, then I can go for SQL transformation. So look at this scenario. So we are going to have employees table here. So I'm going to create new mapping. M under any, any scenario you can take. SQL transformation. Just I'm taking employees table here. So this can be achieved by using source qualifier joiner or joiner transformation or lookup based on the department ID. I need for each and every department I need the department name and location ID. So how can I do it for this different scenario? Source qualifier joiner, or if the department's table is in flat file, you can go for joiner. Then I can go for lookup also. So all this scenario it is taking a lot of uh, catching. And this time I want to go for SQL transformation. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. We can take. So this is what SQL transformation. You can see here SQL transformation. You can take SQL here. So you can, whenever you are taking SQL, it will ask which mode you want to run it. Query mode or script mode. So query mode means, so query we are giving in SQL transformation. Script mode means the same query, like parameter file, we are keeping it. That's what I can go with script mode. And DB connection, DB type is Oracle and static connection only. SQL transformation will be run in passive mode. So by default, it is active only. It is changing the number of record. So that's why we are not making like this option. Okay, just to click on okay. This is what you will get it. Okay, drag and drop all the columns from here to here. See here, SQL input, it will not have any output here. So here output. So you'll have one more extra column here, SQL error. So what is this port? This port will have, if any error, this port will have that result, okay? The same way, what is the use of union, that group column, right? Group port, uh, the port you have, group you have, group port we have, and then port separate port we have. The same way, in SQL also we have the port here, we cannot edit it, edit it. Where I can edit? I can edit in SQL ports only. So here, I want two more columns, right? the output so just to create that keep the cursor here this is the sql output 
this is the SQL input. The SQL input is input we are getting from the source. It will automatically take. But the SQL output is this is what. Create a new port, whatever the port we want. So two port we want. One is department name, O underscore DEPT underscore name. The other one is location ID. So O underscore location underscore ID. So department name is where care, right? So you can go for where care to location ID is number, number data type. So this is SQL transformation, whatever the transformation we got it, this is the data type and native data type is nothing but your database. So which database you are using that database data type. So here we have the number. First name is where care to. If you don't give, then it will fail. Last name also where care to. Email. Email also where care to. Phone number. Where care to. Higher date. Is date and time, right? Then job ID. You can go for where care to. Salary number, commission percentage number, manager ID number, and this is also number. So I will uh, use all the columns. Then here in the SQL query, if you look at here SQL query, we have to write SQL query. What is that query? The query we have to write. Same way, how we will write in, in the lookup, right? Same way, select. What is the column I need? Department name, comma, location ID I need. Location underscore ID from department's table, right? Department's table where department underscore ID, where department underscore ID equal to this department ID, I will pass it. This department ID, I will pass it, okay? Click on okay here. This is what I can give the SQL query. This SQL query will be executed. This is called a binding, parameter binding. So we are, runtime we are giving that and it will be passed here and it will take corresponding department name and location ID. It will be assigned to these two columns, okay? So apply, okay. So you even you can take only one column also. Department ID also you can take not all other columns. But since we are taking to next level, we are taking all other columns. So employee ID to location ID, you can pass it here. So it will same like our lookup, right? It will create all this. You can go here, workflow underscore, SQL underscore transformation. So you can take this one. So this is called query mode. Script mode means same query, you have to make it in one file that file you have to call. I will take parameter file after that you try that. So truncate target table option. SQL also you have to provide the connection. Okay, don't forget. SQL also database, right? So here you have to choose relational. Here you have to choose the connection. So apply, okay here, save. So this is the table in target via the table. Select star from employees underscore DEPT, right? So this is a table. So this is a table. Then you can go for, so this is a table I can execute. Then I will go for, now I'm going to execute this. It will load the data. So anywhere in the pipeline, if you want to execute any statement, okay? So you want to execute any create table, alter table or anything you want to execute middle of the Informatica flow, you can use this SQL transformation. Got completed, I've loaded the data. I think the department name we have given less character. That's why not loaded properly, right? Okay. Only 10 characters we have given. We'll give 50 characters. Okay, so this is what it got loaded. Now, if you go and check, we should have all this value, yes.